Okay, so today I'm going to show you how we can quick and easy change parts of a robot or something like that. And you select them and press link object and it's done. So now I'm going to take it a bit slower. So if we just undo that. Uh, the thing is that you select the part that you want to change. And then you select the part you want to change to. Then you press Control L. And you just choose link object data. And now it's done. And for this object to be mirrored, you need for that object that is over here to be mirrored from the start. So uh, what I did here is that I, if we just delete this one, select this one, and when you swap in part like this, it's important that you have that you have a check the scale and rotation so that they are applied. And that is just Control A, and you can just apply rotation and scale. Great. And now I can just quickly show you how I did when I made this inverse, I just select it, press shift T to duplicate it. We can drag it over here. And now I want this end turned up here. So we need to mirror it. So I just can take the scale and set it to minus one instead. And now it's mirrored in this direction. So now we need it to end up here. So we can select this, press edit mode, and we can just uh, select faces and we press shift S and we select cursor to select it. And now we have the 3D cursor here and we can exit edit mode. We select this part again and we press shift S and then selection to cursor. So now it's over here. And if we do as before, select this part, we select this part and then we press control L and link object data. And it ends up here. So this is great. And What's really great with this method is that um, if you set these two parts uh, to be parent to this one, we can now move everything like this. Maybe we can rotate it to a cool pose or something. You can still do this because the value is still applied. So we can just link the data and they are in place. Great. But uh, what if I want to take it a little bit further? But if I have uh, like this and collection uh, of different parts, uh, you cannot just you cannot just select this one and this one and press Control L uh, link collection. It will not work. And I more recommend that you work with instances of a collection. So if you try this, let's uh, Shift A and then collection instance. Then we have uh, arm jet gun. It's up here, but as you can see, it's pivot point is over here. So that's, and that's not great. So we need to change this. So we just undo that. We select this arm yet gun up here and we can go down to object properties and go to collection. And first we need to select this one and we need to put the 3D cursor up here. And we can see that the origin point is here. So we just press shift S cursor to select it. And now when this is done, we just go here and we set set offset from cursor. Great. And now if we do the same thing, shift a collection, for instance, arm yet gun is in the right place. Perfect. So now we have an instance and the great thing with this is if I change something here, change on the instance as well, we, we can even hide this part and we have this instead but if we select this part and i want to change it with this instance and we press ctrl l link object data it will not work we cannot make it work even if we choose link instance collection because th this is an um, object and this is an instance so what we need to do is make this an instance as well so uh, what we can do is that we just press m new collection let's call this arm fitter left great great so we have it here and we have the same situation as before the 3d cursor is over here so we need to fix that shift this cursor to select it like that and then we just go to object properties collections and then set offset to cursor great but this is still not the instance, so we need to add it. So shift A collection uh, instance and this arm fit the left. 
and it actually start out at the right position because the 3D cursor is there. So we can now just hide the um, collection and we only have the instance left. We can just select this instance that we want to change and then the instance we want to change to. And then we just press Ctrl L and link instance collection. Like that. Great. And we can remove this. And uh, if we now combine this with uh, our asset library, I will not dive into how to use an asset library right now, but if you have, for instance, a couple of uh, robot parts, you can just drag it in and then you can just select this one, select this one and control L, link instance collection. So this is a really quick and easy way to change part if you have a robot or something that you need to change part on uh, regularly or for some reason then i think this is the best way to do it hope it helped i hope you learned something new thanks for watching and if you like stuff like this please like and subscribe bye